What is up everybody, this is Omega Belmo back again with another statue and figure unboxing. For today I got a pretty awesome statue here. Uh, this is from DC Collectibles, this is the DC Comics Icon line. Uh, this one is Harley Quinn, which is of course another limited edition, so of course it has a number on it. But anyways, we're going to take a look at the box first and then we'll take a look at the statue after that. So for the box here you get a look at the the statue here, just, of course, she's a little bit different uh, than what you've seen the pictures of. Uh, the, I've seen pictures, the prototype at least, it looks a little bit different. She's looking actually the other way, and then uh, the base is a little bit different. But uh, so far, everything looks so good. Uh, the front here, like I said, statue here, and then DC Comics icons, Harley Quinn, numbered limited edition. Uh, then the side here. We get to look at the side of the statue here. Of course, this is a cold cast porcelain. Uh, so, like I said before, you gotta be careful with that. Check it if you buy it at the store. I said check it, uh, make them check it. So, you know, it comes intact with everything and nothing is broken. In the back here, the, as usual, a lot of these boxes, a lot of these uh, DC collectibles boxes or statues have. A look at some of the characters that are coming out or are out already uh, the Joker is actually out uh, at the same time as this one uh, and then on the left side there is Deadshot which is I think is it is he out yet I don't think so but that'll be a cool statue to get mostly with the Suicide Squad movie that's coming out uh, and then of course they are getting their own too so that is actually really cool really cool and then on the side here we get a look at uh, the whole statue here uh, the measures are about 9.75 inches tall, so almost about 10 feet, and sculpted by Eric Sosa. So that is pretty much it here for the box, and we're going to take a look at the statue next. Alright, so here's a look at the statue. It looks actually really, really good. Uh, the coolest part, what I really enjoyed about this statue is the little glossy paint that she has on her red parts of her costume that to me looks freaking awesome everything else looks really detailed mostly if you go into these little uh, f little her hands here they kind of look like frails and stuff like that. that looks really cool uh, the eyes looks pretty decent it's not that great uh, but the, you know it's uh, for a smaller type of statue that's usually what happens uh, I like I like the little her little hat piece here it looks freaking cool uh, the coolest part like I said is the frails and the, her arms but the accessory that she has also uh, this is actually a mallet that you can actually have to put it in itself so you just do this to slip it in there uh, technically you don't really need to have it with you but that's you know that's why we're not that's her weapon that she uses and it's an iconic weapon that <laughs> you see on the character but if you go down here everything still looks really really good I'm gonna do a quick spin of the statue here real quick uh, like I said everything looks freaking awesome so everything looks nice and neat. I like her little details that she has little diamonds on her her costume there. And then goes down to, all the way to the base here. The base is a little bit different from what you've seen on the on the the pictures you've seen on the websites of the uh, statue. But uh, like I said, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, if you've seen the the pictures, it looks it looks like a thicker, a taller base and a little bit shorter uh mostly not shorter but yeah a little bit shorter but uh with this it's actually really long and uh let me see move it up a bit there it's super long it's like it's way too big for what uh you know the the statue is supposed to be in so it's a little bit weird but it's a little and it doesn't really match the statue either uh, maybe because like i said it's the icon you know iconic characters line so it's a little bit different i guess but i would like uh, the base to actually be somewhat close to what the statue or the character is even if it's you know just red and black i hope they do something different with that maybe make it a red and black instead of just a, a gray and black statue it looks a little bit weird when you you know you see everything looks cool and then but a black kind of base so, uh, but it is pretty big and it really it really really doesn't you know, it makes it hard for me to fit it in some of my my uh, cabinets I have here. But uh, like I said, it looks pretty decent. But I just wish it was a little bit closer to what uh, the stat the character is. So uh, maybe that would they would change it in the future, and that's what I want to see. Uh, but you know what? It might not. They might just keep it the same. But anyways, 
other than that, the statue itself still looks really fine to me. Uh, I don't see any blemishes or anything like that. The coolest part I've seen is really her makeup here. Uh, I thought it might be some paint transfer or something like that on her eyes, but it's just really her, uh, her the makeup that's kind of smeared. Uh, that's usually how Harley is too, so <laughs> her makeup a little bit small. Well, not, I don't know about, about this character, but I know we've seen most recent Harley. She's a little bit kind of a messier looking uh, character, but <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Like her little eyes have like a little black smear coming out of it, so pretty cool stuff. Her eyes, like I said, are a little bit mesh too, so you gotta you gotta you wish it was a little bit better than that. Uh, the the form itself, the the way she's posed looks pretty cool i mean just straight stand-up pose but that's how she usually stands kind of a goofy look because look at her feet are kind of inwards and that's how harley is a goofy type of character and of course she carries a big old mallet so <laughs> it's a little bit different there too so uh, but other than that i'm giving this statue maybe an eight out of ten uh the statue itself is fine Everything is looks really nice and neat. I like the red glossy colors that kind of actually stands out a bit. But what I don't really like is the the base itself. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that type of base. I wish it was a little bit something different. Like I said, maybe more towards the character, uh, how the character looks. Maybe even if it's still the same looking uh, base, I wish it was like a red and black base or something like that. So just kind of in with that character's theme uh and then of course it's also a big 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 ba base for what it you know you can't do uh, oh yeah disclaimer first uh when you actually get the statue here uh, i couldn't really put him in uh, nice and neat you really just can't slip it in you actually had to what i did was on this her left foot here i kind of put the the peg in first and then on her right foot i kind of had to like extend it a bit so you kind of have to pull it don't pull it hard just pull it enough and it'll, it'll eventually her right foot peg will actually go into the hole so you gotta be careful with that so uh but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here hopefully you guys uh, go out and actually buy the statue like i said it's still a fantastic looking statue a uh, part of the base and that's pretty much it so <laughs> hopefully you guys go out and buy the statue hopefully you guys uh, like i said enjoy the video and i'll see everybody next time peace out